Daddy, I want to show you just why I'm looking forward to either Westerman or Fisher or anyone else taking over for Bodine in the near future. I'm going to take you back to a simple play from week three last year against the Baltimore Ravens. Before the play, you see left guard Clint Bowling tap Bodine on the shoulder to confirm the snap count and the assignments on the weak side of the ball. Bowling basically tells him here, just make sure to negate nose tackle Brandon Williams so Jeremy Hill can cut back inside on the run. Everything from there on, from a blocking standpoint, is simply abysmal. Bodine's short arms causes him to lose at the point of attack, as Williams' arms are already in Bodine's chest and dictating where he goes from there, which is straight backwards, as he easily penetrates the backfield and tackles Hill for a minimal gain. This is the price that Bodine pays for having a slow and weak punch along with a naturally short reach. He'll lose more times than not at the point of attack, and usually in an embarrassing fashion like this. John, John, give the young guy a break, man. He's also shown flashes of becoming exactly the kind of center we need. He plays with a mean streak, he's super strong, and he's good at seeking out tacklers in order to help our running backs make plays down the field. Uh, let's look at this play from week two against the San Diego Chargers. Bodine chips the defensive tackle engaged by Clint Bowling, and in classic zone blocking style, he goes upfield into the second level and finds Monty Teo in the middle of the field, waiting to pounce on Jeremy Hill. He totally obliterates Teo, shoving him down the field. Just look at how he acts decisively and utilizes that quickness. And he doesn't give up on the play until after Hill is already down. He, he probably wouldn't even have realized the play was dead had his helmet not been knocked off. The guy is an animal. So here we have a textbook example of Bodine quality second level blocking a hit and go which is what Paul Alexander our offensive line coach wants to do in his traditional zone blocking scheme as a result of both ends grittiness and persistence Jeremy Hill picked up nine yards